I had a, an opportunity to talk a little bit about CU's history on a recent episode of the Distributor Pubcast. Computers Limited, we're, we're 44 years old now. You know, so we've been through four decades of technology changes and industry evolutions. And you know, my father at the time was one of the co-founders then became the, the sole owner um, in the early 80s. And he's, of course, a, uh, he's a chemical engineer by trade. You know, we call him Dr. Mike. So he has uh, a couple of degrees in, in chemistry and uh, a self-taught you know, developer. And so his, his, his view is, you know, chemical, chemical engineers can solve anything. And I, I think that uh, that motto and that mindset is, is uh, practiced every day here at Computers Unlimited. Uh, with in the form of software, where you know, we really look at software as that tool to be able to solve you know business problems, and um, you know so we've seen you know four decades of different software technologies come and go, and you know of course we started off uh, um, with the industrial gas and welding supply industry you know back in the in the late seventies and then the early eighties. And then early 80s, then we also branched into, into healthcare um, in the form of home health care. So those are providers that are providing you know, equipment and medical um, um, types of de devices that are primarily used in the home. So there's a distribution to, to, the, to the home environment, whereas industrial courses to you know, more general uh, customers. Um, we do have a, another smaller division that services the audiology um, healthcare uh, segment. It's a smaller part of uh, the company, but you know, again, pure software development. So, and, and probably one unique thing about CU, I mean, people always refer to us as Computers Limited or CU, or we run on the TIMS you know, software system. TIM stands for Total Information Management System. So that's our that's the name of our product. You know, that's been really front and center for you know 40 plus years and. We've, we've been able to migrate the code base of TIMS through, you know, four or five different technology platforms. You know, back in the day, it was digital equipment, uh, VAX VMS systems, PDP VAX, then it was digital Unix, then it was um, HP Unix, where we run on the Intel chip, um, and then now, you know, onto Windows, and, as well as web, and then, you know, probably the last couple of years, um, you know, smartphone devices. So, so our products and technologies have been able to you know, evolve over those different platforms over those um, decades um, quite seamlessly. You know, our, our customers, they, they, they don't want disruption in their business. You know, they want continuity. You know, so we have to be really careful of when do we adopt a new technology and weave it into the rest of the TIMS code base, you know, which is you know, millions of lines of code. So we have to be very, you know, cautious of how fast do we want to run. We have to be very mindful of the customer and how fast can they move forward as an organization um, with, you know, software and technology. You know, so you really have to, you know, pay attention to, you know, the technology sector, but also your customer's core business and the pace that they can, you know, assimilate you know, new types of technologies that. You know, hopefully if they're designed correctly, they're going to streamline businesses, you know, uh, even more than their, their current level.